Today, I made a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to record your computer screen completely for free, easy as can be, and hopefully just a little entertaining. At the very least, you'll at least know how to record your computer screen. A21 There are so many different options now for you to record your computer screen. You can buy a capture card for around $150 and yeah, it looks fantastic, but you can also download a free application that does virtually the same thing, except it doesn't have a DVR option, but that's okay. You don't really need that to get started with. What we're mainly gonna be focusing on this video is OBS. And yes, I know there are so many different applications out there that are free and they do almost the same thing. They allow you to record and stream and everything. Yeah, okay, I get it. Most of those applications like XSplit used to be fantastic, but now they keep pushing these little $5 subscriptions and stuff to give you extra features and stuff like that. But okay, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and set this up so that you can start recording your video. The first thing you're gonna need to do is open up your web browser. And instead of just typing in OBS, like most videos will tell you, we're gonna go ahead and go to OBS Streamlabs, which it pops up right away, so that's perfect. If you're on a PC or Windows 10, you're just gonna press download. And the reason I'm saying to put Streamlabs OBS, because if you just type in OBS, they still have the original open broadcaster software, which is just regular OBS. It looks almost exactly the same. I feel like the Streamlabs OBS is a lot more better. And plus, if you want to become a streamer one day, it's better just to have the Streamlabs OBS right now instead of having to go back and download it later. Then down here in the bottom left corner, you're gonna go ahead and click on that so that you can open up your downloads. And then you're gonna go ahead and press yes. So you're just gonna go ahead and choose the driver that you wanna download this in, and then you're just gonna press install. Let's go ahead and open up OBS. I'm gonna open up a new scene so you can see exactly what it would look like if you just started. As you can see, it's blank, nothing is happening. You're gonna have to go right here where it says sources. And then you're gonna press this little add new sources to your scenes. And then we're gonna go ahead and go over to display capture. Make sure that you have it perfectly aligned how you want it. So now we have our capture display, which is pretty much just our screen. Here in sources where it says display capture, double clicking it and it'll bring up this. If you don't want your cursor to show up in the video, just uncheck that and then press done at the bottom. And now our screen, everything that you are seeing is gonna be able to record. All right, now we're able to record our computer screen. Let's make sure that we have audio. You wanna make sure that these are on the correct audios. This one right here I have for my microphone. So I can see the line moving up and down because I'm talking through my microphone. So that's obviously working. And the next thing you wanna make sure is that this top one right here that we're gonna use for our computer audio is working. So we're gonna go ahead and open up a random YouTube video. You're showing us his anger Press play. Skills. And there we go. We can see it moving we'll up and down. Out. The audio was working correct. But let's say that it wasn't. You're gonna press on this little gearbox right here. Go over to prop and then where it says device, you're gonna give that a click and search for the audio that you have set up for your computer so that you can capture the audio from your computer. What you do next is just press down here on record. And now everything that happens right now is gonna be getting recorded. So if I move this around, it's recording right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and press stop recording. Where is the video recordings going? Now you're gonna go down here to the bottom left corner where that little gearbox is, where it says settings. You're gonna go ahead and give that a click and then go right here to output. Under output, you see that you have streaming options and then you go down to recording. So recording now, as you can see, it says OBS. This is where my recordings go. If you wanna change that, you just press on browse and then you can go to any one of these windows and you can put it wherever you wanna put it. I usually have my recording quality at a high quality, medium file size, and then I record in an MP4, and then the encoder, I just keep it the same at whatever the default is. Again, here goes more of the audio options. I just keep all this at default, default for my audio, my desktop, I have it whatever my desktop is. And for my microphone, I just put it for my microphone, which is the Rode. And then right here for video, I always record in a 1080p. My output, I make sure to always scale it at 1080p. And I always record in around 60 frames per second. That way when I'm editing, I can always downscale it if I need to. This is just usually what I recorded. After that, just press done and boom, voila, we are done. Now you're able to record your computer screen for YouTube or whatever it may be. I hope this video was helpful or at least just a little bit entertaining. If it was, then please like the video. It'd really mean a lot. And if you want more tutorials for YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Mixer, whatever it may be, this might be the channel for you. I got so many awesome epic tutorials that are coming up for this year. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. A21 Aaron is out. Peace out, gangsters. Deuces. A21 Aaron, whoa, get ready for gaming tutorials, taking the YouTube.